Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today we're going to be making these textured granny rectangles. So I decided to design a sweater and I wanted to make it a little bit different. I knew I wanted to do something with maybe granny squares on part of it. And I thought to change it up, instead of doing a square, I was gonna do rectangles and use those for the sleeves and then do the sweater in one main color. So I came up with this textured rectangle and I'll probably be doing the main part of the sweater in this color. And if all works out well, you'll be seeing that as a tutorial. But in the meantime, I thought I'd show you how to make these textured rectangles. I thought they were fun and you could use them for so many things. You could use them for blankets, placemats. I'm sure you could come up with many ideas. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make this. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start by making this rectangular textured granny rectangle. <laughs> it's not a square. <laughs> okay, and to do that, I'm using Karen Simply Soft in these colors. I have, let's see where the colors are on this. Off-white, Dark Sage, Autumn Red, sunshine and black <laughs> okay so these are the colors I'm using for my entire sweater and to start this square you're going to choose the color that you're going to want to be your main color that does all of this textured part so for me that's the color sunshine I'm also going to use a four millimeter crochet hook and I find myself grabbing my tulips all the time. They're just very comfortable and have nice slip for me. And a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. Oh, yarn needle. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to start, we are going to make our slip knot. and chain 20. Now we're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, and do a double crochet. Our first chain three that we skipped counts as a double crochet. This counts as a second one, and we're going to do a third one into that same stitch. Then we're going to chain two because this is going to start to create our corner at the end. We won't be chaining as we go. And we're going to skip two and in the third chain we're going to do three double crochets again. One, two, and three. Then again we're going to skip two, one, two, and in the third we're gonna do three double crochets. And you're gonna do that all the way down to the end and you'll have one stitch, one chain left over when you're done. Again, skipping two in the third, doing three double crochets. Skip two, three double crochets. Let's 
good two. And then the third, we're gonna do three double crochets and you'll have one chain left, as I said before. Okay, now we're going to chain two because we're at the end and we're gonna start creating corners. And we're gonna go into that last chain and do three double crochets. and three. Then chain two again, creating another corner, and we're gonna continue going back the other direction. All right, so to head back now, we just chain two here. We are going to do three double crochets in the top of the last set of three along the other side there. So right there where they meet, we're gonna do three double crochets there. One, two, and three. Okay, now going back, we're going to do our three double crochets opposite the other three double crochets. So wherever they meet, that's where we're gonna do our three double crochets. No chains in between, because we're going down the side here. We only use the chains at the end. And then to the next one, three double crochets. And the next one. Okay, now we're at the end. So now we're gonna do two, double, two chains and we're gonna slip stitch into the top of that first chain three. So we're just gonna put our hook into the top of that chain three, pull the yarn through both stitches, and there we have the center for our rectangle. So I'm just gonna fasten off And tighten that up and weave in my ends and then I'll meet you back here. Okay so this is the center of my granny square. Now the next color I'm going to use is my dark sage. Now when I do granny squares or granny rectangles and I want it to come out very square or very rectangular I alternate between working the front and then working into the back. And the reason for that is if you always work in the front, you'll see it starts to pinwheel or kind of spiral. And I actually did a video on that way back in the beginning um, on two different methods for doing a granny square. So what I'm gonna do for when I start the green here is I'm gonna flip this over and work into the back. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I sewed into this one because one of my ends was here. So I like to go into a different corner. I'm gonna go over here and choose this corner here. I'm gonna put my hook through, take my green and just fold it over and pull it through and attach it. I attach it with both the tail and the yarn and then drop the tail. And then I'm gonna chain two Okay, that's gonna be my first double crochet. And then I'm gonna do two more double crochets right there. And I'm holding the tail down while I'm doing it. 
and then I'll drop it. You can't carry it along because it'll show along the yellow there, so I just drop it there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, this is gonna be, by the way, the second three double crochets of this corner. As we come around, that's where we'll do three more double crochets and two chains here. So I'm not gonna do any change, chaining at this point. Now, for each of my three double crochets, I'm going to do those between my other three double crochets. So this is different than how we did it in the first round where we used the same point to have the three double crochets come out of. Now, just like a regular granny square, I'm gonna to go to the space between and I'm gonna do three double crochets in that space. And I'm gonna do that all along down the side into each space between the clusters of three double crochets. I find the beauty of doing granny squares or granny rectangles is you can just take them anywhere. If you're in a waiting room or whatever and just do one square or one rectangle, it's not like you have to carry some big project with you. Of course, the downside is then you have to sew them together at the end. So, <laughs> you know, there's pros and cons to everything but I do like making granny squares and rectangles while I'm sitting and waiting somewhere. It's a nice quick project. Okay, now I'm at the end here. So I wanna make a corner. So what I'm gonna do for a corner is I'm gonna make three double crochets. Then I'm gonna chain two, that's my corner and then three more double crochets in that same space. Okay, then I'm gonna go over to the other side here and make another corner. So I'm gonna do three double crochets. I don't chain in between the two corners. Three double crochets. Chain two, creating my corner, and three more double crochets right there. Okay, now I'm just gonna go down this side the same way I did the other side. I'm gonna do three double crochets into each space between the clusters. If you notice that my table looks a little bit different, I'm actually standing in my kitchen today. I didn't feel like going into my studio. I don't know why, but I'm working out of the kitchen today. <laughs> I love these colors together. When I was a kid, yellow and green together was my favorite combination. It's funny because I hardly use yellow at all anymore because I don't think I look that great in it, but when it's mixed with other colors, it's okay. All right, now I'm coming back and I'm gonna make, I'm at the end here and I'm gonna make a corner here. So that's three double crochets. chain two, and three more double crochets. And now we're coming back around to where I said this is the second half of our corner. So we're gonna go into that space and do three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then we're gonna chain two and slip stitch to the top of that chain. It was a, a an attachment and a chain two. So we're gonna grab the top of that and slip stitch. 
I like to get, let me step back a second. I like to get two loops because otherwise you see what just happened. It just doesn't look, I'm gonna pull away, there we go, and slip stitch. There we go, that's nice, just like that. And then I'm gonna fasten off And there's my second round. I'm going to weave in the ends and we'll come back and do the next color. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And you can see this is the side that I just crocheted on because you can see both sides of the V here. So that's showing you where I crocheted last. This would have been the right side, except I'm switching back and forth. So it's the wrong side because I started on this side. So now we're gonna come back to this side so you don't see the both sides of the stitch like you do here. You just see the top back stitch there. And we're gonna go back to that color that you want to be running through the textured piece. So I'm going back to the sunshine color and I'm going to join in a corner same way I joined last time. So I'm gonna put my hook in the corner here, pull this through and I pull both pieces through then drop the tail and then I'm gonna chain two and now I'm gonna do two more double crochets. This is the end of that corner. We'll be coming back around to the beginning of it at the very end. Now what I'm gonna do, I have to look and see that I'm in the camera here. I'm not used to working on this. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the space between the green clusters, just like I was doing before, but a little bit differently to create that texture. So I'm gonna go in with a double crochet, and then I'm gonna do a triple crochet front post around this center stitch of the yellow before. So I'm gonna wrap my yarn twice, go under that second stitch there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then I'm going back into that same space and doing another double crochet. So the thing that changes is your middle stitch. Instead of being another double crochet, it's a triple crochet, front post, down to the yellow level before, or whatever color you're using. So now I'm going to the next one. I'm gonna do a double crochet. Then my second stitch, I'm gonna do a triple, front post, triple, down to that level there. And then another double crochet in that space. Okay, so you can see it's starting to create that texture. And I only do that on the sides. I don't end up doing it in the corner, which you'll see. So continue doing that in each of the spaces. And don't forget to do that third stitch there, another double crochet. And I say that because I'm reminding myself. <laughs> I have forgotten to do it. Okay, coming to the last space on this side. And another double crochet in there. Okay, now I'm up to this corner here. So I'm gonna just do a regular corner in that corner. So I'm gonna do three double crochets. One, two, three, and then two chains and three double crochets to create that corner there. Two and three. Now I have this space here between this cluster, which is the last cluster of my corner, 
and this cluster, which is the first cluster of the next corner, there is a space here. And in here, I'm going to do that same thing I was doing down the side, a double crochet, then a triple, oops, underneath that center stitch there, and then another double in that same space. Okay, and then I move to the next corner and I do a regular corner, three double crochets. Chain two, three double crochets. Creating the next corner. Okay. So this is what we have so far, going down the one side and creating both our corners. And we do have this in the middle here. So now you're gonna continue down this side, doing that same stitch, this stitch over here, all the way down the side. When you get to the corner, you're gonna do a regular corner. Don't forget this stitch here. You're gonna do it just like these stitches in the center there and then we'll get back to the beginning of this corner and then we'll chain two and slip stitch to these first chain here. Okay, so I'm gonna meet you here. Just continue along. Okay, here I've come around. I've just done this center one between the corners. So I'm coming to that last spot where I started. I'm gonna do three double crochets. One, two, and three, then I'm gonna chain two to create my corner and slip stitch to the top over here, like that, and fasten off. Okay, I'll just tighten that a little bit. And this is what our piece is looking like so far. You can see that's the center part here. So the next color I'm gonna use is gonna be my rust color. I forget what it was called, autumn red maybe. That's gonna be my next color. And I'm going to start after I fasten in my ends on the other side. And you can see this is the back again, because on this side, I can see both sides of the stitch. And on this side, I can only see the top of the stitch. So I'm gonna be working on this side with the autumn red. Okay, so this is what it looks like at the end of the third round. We've done a yellow round, a dark sage round, and then another yellow round. So now I'm going to flip my work over and I'm gonna start on this side here, which would be the wrong side because where we have this texture is going to be the right side of my granny rectangle in the end. So I'm going to be working on the wrong side and I'm going to be bringing in my autumn red. Okay, so just like before, I'm going to find a corner that I didn't sew an end in on. So I'll start over here. And I will bring my color through and Again, both pieces and then drop my tail. And then I will chain two. If you hear that noise, I have a fire going right next to me. This is so nice. <laughs> and I'm going to do two more double crochets over that tail. There. Okay, so there we go. Now, for this round, I'm going to do it like I would just normally do the granny rectangle round. I'm not doing any textured stitches. So I'm just gonna go in between the clusters and do three double crochets. When I get to the corners, I'll make a corner. And that's it all the way around, just like this.
just going along between the clusters of three double crochets. I'm going to just go over to the corner and show you the first corner and then I'm sure you know how to finish this up at this point. Here's the last one on this side. Okay, so here I am at the corner. So I'm going to do three double crochets. Chain two. And three more double crochets. I do like the feel of this yarn. Okay, now don't forget your spots along this side now that are in between your corner, in between your corners. So we're just going to do three double crochets along here and then here as well. And to our next corner right here. And I'm going to do three double crochets. Chain two. And three double crochets. Just like that. So just continue down the other side, around to this corner. Don't forget these two here. And then finish off with the three double crochets, chain two, and slip stitch to this corner. Sew in your ends, and I'll meet you back here for the next round. Okay, so here we are at the end of this round, and we're gonna turn back to the right side of the rectangle, which is the wrong side for this color, as you can see by the top here. But the way that we know it's the right side for the rectangle is because we see the textured yellow here. And we are going to be doing another textured yellow or whatever color you're using for your main color round right now. And this is gonna be our last round with this color. So again, I'm going to find a corner and pull the yarn through and attach it. Drop my tail and chain two. Now I'll do two more double crochets. This is the end of this corner. We'll be coming back around to this. Okay, now in each space, here's the next space here which includes one of the corners from the last round, we're going to do that textured stitch. So we're going to do a double crochet, a triple front post in that middle post there, and another double in that same space. Okay, we'll do that all the way down the side. Now, when you get to one, that's a double crochet. Now I'm gonna do a triple. When you get to one that already had the post, you're just gonna go around that. So I'm gonna do my triple coming behind that, which is just gonna elongate that post. It becomes longer. And then I'll do a double in that same space. Okay, again, I'm going to do a double, then a triple going around this post that I made before. Got to make sure I stay in the camera here. And then another double in that space. Just like that. Okay, so you're going to keep doing that until you get to the corner.
Okay, and here's the last one on this side here. Double crochet, a triple around that center. Stitch there, if I can get to it. Get under there, you little bugger. Okay. And another double. There we go. Okay, so when we get to the corner, we're just gonna do a regular corner, three double crochets. Two chains and three more double crochets. This yarn does split a little bit. Not bad though. Okay, then as we go to the side here, I'm gonna go back to the textured stitch. Do another one here. And another one right here. Oops, forgot my double crochet. <laughs> okay. After my double crochet, I'll do another one here. This one did not have a post before, so I'm gonna go into that middle stitch there because it was the corner the last time. And we don't do that on the corner stitches. And then another double crochet. There we go. And then in this corner here, I'm gonna do a regular corner. Three double crochets. two chains, and three double crochets. Okay, so this is where we are so far. You see our textured stitches make a really nice pattern there. So you're gonna continue that around this side and in your corners, you're just gonna do your regular corners, but everywhere else you're gonna do the textured stitch and then you will finish up this last corner by putting your three double crochets, chain two, and slip stitching to these three double crochets. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and I'll meet you back here for the next round. Okay, so I finished that round and so did my ends. You can see the texture's coming out really nice. So now I'm gonna flip to the other side. I'm gonna work on the back side now, and I'm gonna use my black next okay so i'm just going to go into the corner here and attach my black i have a knot on my the end of my black here let me just cut that off okay so i go into the corner and i'm going to attach my black just as i've been doing all along and chain two and do two double crochets. And for this, it's I'm just doing the regular granny stitches all the way around and making corners as normal. So I'm gonna go in between the sets of uh, granny stitches and do three double crochets all the way around and when I get to the corners, I'm gonna do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets to make my new corner. And that's it. So this round is very easy. It's just what you're used to with regular granny squares. So keep doing that. And going all the way around, make sure when you get to your corner, you make another corner 
And don't forget your spaces going down this side as well. So do that and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we finished the next round, the black round there. Now for the last two rounds, I'm gonna use my cream color and I'm going to do two rounds on the right side. I'm not gonna turn this over again. So I'm gonna start the same way we did for the last round, but on the right side, we see our pattern showing with our main color here. Grab my hook, here we go. And I'm gonna start in my corner here and attach as we've been doing. and start going around the same way. Chain two, and two more double crochets into this corner. One, two, and then I'm gonna go around and do three double crochets in each of the spaces. And you're gonna do that until you come around your first time, and you're not gonna fasten off because you're gonna go around a second time. So what you'll do is you'll slip stitch to this part here and then continue around. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So just go around, be sure to make your corners and uh, do your three double crochets in each space. I'll meet you back here when it's time to start round two of this color. Okay, so here we are. I've done the first three double crochets in the last corner here. I'm gonna chain two and I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of my first chain three. Okay, now instead of fastening off, I want my next corner to come out of this space here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slip stitch back into that hole, into that corner there, pull that up, And there we go, pull it over. So now I'm in the corner again. And now I'm just gonna chain three, do two double crochets into the corner. So that slip stitch kind of just backed me up a little bit. And then I'm gonna continue on my way, going around doing the three double crochets in each space. And when I come around, to that corner, all I'll have to do is three double crochets, chain two, and attach, and I'll be done. So finish all the way around, and then fasten off, and sew in your ends, and you will be done. Okay, so I just came around and finished up. I will weave in my ends, but there you have it. There is your textured granny rectangle. Okay, I hope you found that interesting and helpful and maybe it gave you some ideas of how you'd like to change some things up in your crocheting. If you do decide to make these granny rectangles and put them into a project, I'd love to see them. Send pictures to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com so I can include them in the next crochet and tail. Well, probably it'll be the, the one after the next because the next one is coming out in the next few days. I had fewer submissions this time, which is to be expected. It's holiday time, but I'm just gonna put it together and put it out there and you should see it probably in the next day or two. So anyway, if you do do these squares and put them into a project, send them to me, send a description of what you did, what yarns you used, what you learned, anything you wanna tell us. I always love seeing those projects. Okay, well, I hope you all are having a very happy holiday season. I wish you all the best in the coming year and you'll probably be seeing me at least one time before then. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.